Welcome to another edition of CUDA Worksheet Tutorials. This is factoring a sum or difference of cubes, and I am Mr. West. Let's go ahead and get started. Now, what we're talking about here is another kind of factoring. This is another special case. Normally, when we're talking about factoring, we're talking about something like uh, a trinomial, where you have so this, and you have two parentheses, yada, yada, yada. We already uh, talked about this in previous videos, if you want to see this. This is different because it's two terms, Okay, so it's not three, it's not a trinomial. And this isn't difference of squares because these aren't perfect squares. Okay, and the other thing is this is a sum. So with, this is a special case called the sum of cubes. Okay, sum of cubes. And we're, the other one we're gonna be talking about is the difference of cubes. But this one's sum, as you can tell, because it's adding. That's what sum means, adding. And this is a perfect cube and this is a perfect cube. What do I mean by that? Well, obviously the cube root of x cubed, let's go ahead and show this to the side, the cube root of x cubed is just x. You can take the cube root and it's a rational number. The cubed root, oh sorry I need the 3 there, the cubed root of 125 gives you 5. There's no decimal, it's, a, it's an integer. So that's, that's good. We're looking for just variables. Um, rational variables and integers when we're talking about uh, perfect cubes. So this could be rewritten as five cubed. So that's another way to see that this is the sum of two cubes. We have this one right here, uh, and actually I'm gonna keep this one red. Let me, why don't I change the color of the other one? Okay, so all these ones I'm gonna change to this green color, and I'm gonna show you why in a second. Okay, so we have these two cubes, okay? Now, how do we factor this? Well, there's a special case, uh, a special pattern, pattern recognition, almost like a formula, and it's this one right here, right here, okay? So we know that we have this whole thing, but what does it mean? A plus B times A squared minus AB plus B squared. Well, what we need to do is both of these terms, the A term, which is the first one, okay? And then the B term, which is the second one, the second cube, okay? And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cube root of both of those first. We, well, we already did that. We have it here and we have it here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna use these as the building blocks to input into this equation, this formula right here, this pattern. So let me go ahead and show you what I mean by that. Well, we're gonna copy, I'm just gonna copy and paste it. That's gonna be the easiest thing. So I'm gonna take this, I missed. I missed again. Did I get it? Nope. Okay, one more time. Let's see if I can get it. Okay, the sounds helped. Copy, paste. All right, now what I'm gonna do is anywhere I see an A, I'm gonna replace it with X. Okay, so it's no longer A, it is X. You are no longer A, you are X, and this is squared, and this is X. Okay, so I did that. Now, anywhere I see a B, I'm gonna replace with five. Why five? Because five is the cube root of 125. That was our initial cube. So I'm gonna erase the B, okay, green, five. I'm gonna change this one and put a five and put this one and we're gonna put five squared, okay? The squared needs to stay. Now what I do from here is I just simplify. So let me get this like dark blue out. So we have X plus five, I'm gonna keep him there. He's simplified. X squared, he's good. X five, usually you wanna write it five X. And then five squared, we simplify to 25. And we're done, that's it. That's all there is to it. We inputted it into our sum of cubes formula and we are finished, okay? So the trick to this problem, to all these problems is finding the, first recognize that they're cubes, okay? So recognize cubes, okay? Take cube root. And then lastly, plug into formula. And you have to make sure you use the right formula. If it's sum, use sum. If it's difference, it's difference. Now, one way to remember the sum of uh, cubes is the first parenthesis, parenthesis is going to be a plus. This last term is always going to be a plus no matter what, even if sum or difference. And for sum, this second parentheses is going to have a minus. So the first one, that's like the one that matches, is going to be a plus, and then there's going to be a minus in the second parenthesis. okay? So that's just an FYI to help you remember. Don't worry about that too much. Okay, let's move on to a, a difference. Okay, so number three is a difference. 
So we have this guy here is a cube. We recognize 64 is a cube. Okay, and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cube root of both of those things. So we're gonna take the cube root of x cubed, and that is x. Then we're gonna take the cube root of 64. My goodness, I forget to write that cube root. I forget the three, that's very important. Otherwise that's square root. Now the cube root of 64 is four. Four times four times four is 64. That's what that means, four times four times four equals 64. So what times itself three times equals 64? Four. Okay, now we're, this is difference. See the difference between these? This one has a minus sign. So we're gonna go ahead and use this guy. This is the difference of cubes. I already had them written out from the beginning. Okay, if you wanna write this down, that's great. I'm gonna have, oh, I already have notes published on this if you wanna just use those notes. But this is gonna be the formula that we plug it into, okay? Now, what we're gonna do is anywhere we see an A, we are gonna write, oops, we're gonna write the X. Anywhere we see a B, we are gonna write the four. Let me erase this, we don't need that part. Okay, and I can move this over. All right, so now I'm gonna erase the A's. I'm gonna write, oh, dang. I'm gonna write X. X, X squared, X times B. I'm gonna erase the B's and I'm gonna write four. Four, four, and four squared. Now I'm gonna simplify. So I have x minus four, that stays. x squared plus four x plus 16. Now, why does this work? I didn't talk about that earlier. Why does this work? Why is this gonna be the, the difference of cubes and work out the way it does? Well, let me distribute and show you why it, why it works. So I'm gonna distribute these three. I get x cubed plus four x squared plus 16x, okay, next up, I'm gonna distribute the bottom ones, let's use the pink, okay, minus 4x squared, minus 16x, and then minus 64. Okay, what do you notice? Well, you should notice that this 4x squared cancels with this 4x, uh, minus 4x squared, this 16x cancels with this minus 16x, and we're left with x cubed minus 64. See how we get the same thing? That's why this formula works for difference of, of squares, and then this one works for some, sorry, difference of cubes, and this one works for sum of cubes. Okay, let's look for a tougher one. Um, these ones are all pretty straightforward. Um, some of these you might need to factor out a GCF first. I'm not seeing any off the top of my head. But let's go ahead and, ooh, okay, so number 19 will do. Or no, 23 we will do, but I want, I want to do something like this, a little bit more simple first. Okay, same deal here. We have uh, a cube there, and why do I know that's a cube? I know that's a cube because 8 is a perfect cube and 27 is a perfect cube. Uh, and x cubed is a perfect cube. Everything is a perfect cube. Okay, so I have, if I take the cube root, I take the cube root of eight and I get two. I take the cube root of x cubed, I get x. Okay, so that one is straightforward. Cube root of 27, what times itself? Three times equals 27, and that's three. And you're gonna have to kind of memorize some cubes here. Um, so you should know that two cubed equals eight, three cubed, 27, four cubed, uh, 64, uh, five cubed, equals 125 and so on. So you wanna kind of recognize, oh, one cubed, one. Recognize these so that it becomes a little bit more obvious once you see either one of these numbers, okay? Um, now, because this is sum of cubes, we're gonna go ahead and put it, put it into our sum of cubes formula. The second parenthesis is a little bit bigger. I'm gonna start with my, uh, my first term, the a, so to speak. So I'm gonna put a two x. I'm gonna put a two x squared, and then I'm gonna put, uh, this one's minus. First one is plus. Let me go ahead and get uh, orange for that. So this one's plus, this one's minus, last one is plus. The last one's always plus for either sum or difference. And what color was I using before? Okay, 2x squared minus 2x. I'm gonna put that in parentheses because we still need to multiply it by the b term. I'm saying b, we can't see how I'm doing this. I'm going like this with my fingers. b, and that's three. So I put three here. I'm gonna put three here. Put that in parentheses because we need to multiply it and I'll put three squared there. I don't really need to put the three in parentheses here because um, uh, it's just a three by itself. This one I did because it's two and an x. All right, now I'm gonna simplify. 
Once I simplify, I get 2x plus 3, that stays. I'm going to get, I'm going to square the 2 and the x, 4x squared minus 6x plus 9, and I'm done. Okay, so not too bad there. It's just a matter of recognizing, taking the cube root, and then plugging it in. Let's go to number 23, as I promised. Okay, this one, I'm not sure how I'm going to do uh, from first glance, but I know that uh, I see a couple things. One, they're not perfect cubes how they are written. So I need a GCF. I need a greatest common factor, something I can factor out from both so that they become three or uh, perfect cubes. So one thing I recognize is this Y. This is Y to the fourth, which is not a perfect cube. So I need to factor out a Y. I know that for certain. Okay, I'm going to put parentheses here because I'm going to factor out some other things as well. Now I'm going to look at the numerical coefficients. I see x cubed. He's fine. He's a perfect cube. 129 is not a perfect cube. So I need to find something. Hmm, what can I divide by? So I'm guessing, okay, so 24 is not a perfect cube either, but it does have a perfect cube as a factor, which is 8. 8 times 3 is 24. So I'm guessing I need to factor out a 3 from both of these terms. So I'm going to factor out a 3, and then I'm going to see what I get. I get 343x cubed, because I factor out a 3y, plus 8y cubed, because I factor out a y from the y cubed. Okay, now, is 343 a perfect cube? I believe it is. Yes, it is. Okay, so let me go ahead and show this step just like before, and I know already, I know 8y cubed is, but here's this one. Sorry, not a great color choice with the orange, but too late now. Okay, so here's my first one. My first term, I take the cube root of this guy, and I get 7. I'm going to take the cube root of, oops, I forgot. I forgot, very important, x cubed. So it's going to be 7x, sorry. Take the cube root of 8y cubed, and I get 2y. Now I'm ready to plug in. Now one thing I can't forget is I can't forget the GCF in front, 3y. There's my first parenthesis, there's my second parenthesis. I'm going to go ahead and put 7x there. I'm going to put 7x, don't forget to square it. Uh, minus 7x. This is sum, so this one's going to be plus, and this one's going to be plus. Then I'm going to put my 3y, put my 3y there, my 3y in parentheses there. I should have put parentheses around this guy. I fixed it. And then 3y, I'm going to put him in parentheses squared. Simplify and finish. 3y needs to stay out in front because that was the first thing we factored out. Any GCF always needs to stay out in front. 49x squared is that minus 21xy, multiply the coefficients, then the x and the y, plus 9y squared, and I am done. That is my sum of cubes for this one with a GCF. So that's all I have for you today. Hope you learned something with sum and difference of cubes. It's not that bad. It's mostly recognition and being able to take the cube root. If you want to see more videos, check out my channel, and thank you so much for watching.